state law is designed to create more affordable housing, but not everyone's convinced it will work in San Diego. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. And I'm Anna Laurel in for Marcella Lee. Governor Newsom signed the law that will allow homeowners to sell an ADU in their backyard. Supporters say these homes will be cheaper and give young families a better chance to own a home. CBS 8's Steve Price joins us live from City Hall downtown with details. Steve. And Carlo and Anda, individual cities will actually have to opt in. And so far, no cities in our county have done that. But the city of San Diego is considering it. So here's a closer look at that new law. Small houses in backyards. Many people call them granny flats because they're usually built for family members like aging parents. But a new state law authored by Bay Area Assemblyman Phil Ting says homeowners can now sell their granny flat or ADU as a way to create more affordable housing in California. We have so few people in California who can afford to buy a home. So by creating more ADUs and allowing people who own ADUs to sell them like condominiums, it creates more homeownership opportunities for everyone in California. Under the new law, individual cities will have to opt in, something the city of San Diego is considering. The mayor's office and CBS ate a statement saying, Mayor Gloria supports increasing our housing supply and providing new home ownership opportunities for San Diegans. This new law appears to align with the mayor's objectives and city staff is evaluating it carefully for potential implementation. It's an impractical thing because it won't work in San Diego. Paul Kruger with Neighbors for a Better San Diego says his group would support the new law if San Diego only allowed residents to build one ADU on their property. But he says allowing investors to cram several of them onto one single family lot defeats the purpose. Who's going to buy something that doesn't have a parking space? Who's going to buy something that doesn't have a place to store your stuff? Who's going to buy something that doesn't have a single tree in the backyard? There are also questions of affordability. ADUs in San Diego's most desirable neighborhoods will certainly cost over half a million dollars and will have homeowner association dues to help pay for shared maintenance. But Ting says you have to start somewhere. If people don't want homeless people in their neighborhoods, they need to build more housing. So I asked Assemblymember Ting, do you think that this is just going to encourage investors to buy up properties, making things even more expensive, and then they're going to build a bunch of ADUs and try to sell them? But he told me that, in his opinion, the finances of that just don't make sense, so he doesn't think they're going to do that. Instead, Carlo, he believes that homeowners, people who are already in their houses, will just sell an ADU and their the existing have in their backyard. It's definitely an interesting twist on the solutions we're looking for. So with this, though, Steve, if you buy an ADU in this situation, are you only buying the actual structure or are you getting the land underneath it as well? Carlo, they're looking at this as basically a condominium. So you would own the structure. However, they would be two separate units. So both units would have to pay individual property taxes, but still a lot to work out here and a lot of paperwork for the homeowner. This is not going to be an easy process. Looking forward to seeing what happens with this. Steve Price reporting live for us. Thanks, Steve. Sure. Santa Ana